Okay, I want to show you what's inside these master tints. So um, if you were to order this one right here, which is the modern color collection, open up the top like this. And usually there'll be some packaging on the top. And in here, you get three of the little spatulas, dispensing spatulas. So this is the stuff that you would use. This will make sense in a minute. The inside, it looks just like one of these guys right here. So you get a package of those. And then in here, we have red, we have yellow, and we have blue. These are your primary colors. Um, I took a lot of art classes, so I know how to mix them and make them look the way I want. But online, on the internet, you'll find a lot of different color wheels and stuff like that that can really help you out. So if you've got a strictly red guitar, chances are this red right here is going to absolutely nail the color. But let's say you want something that's green. We're going to add blue and yellow together and get that green color. Let's say you got like a heavy metal purple guitar that's coming in and you got to get that purple exactly right. So you're going to use your red and you're going to use your blues. So let me show you what's inside here. So when I unscrew the top here, there you can see this is a very fine powder. And then when you use the little spatula, that will pick up a little bit of power powder. You'll take a little bit of it and you'll put it on this palette right here and then you choose depending on what the finish and the repair is which one of the fill and finishes you want to use. The thin or the regular. So this is a little thicker and then the thin is obviously a thinner. So let me show you what's inside the other ones. So we're going to put these back in here. Put that back in here. And I'm just going to set this to the side. Now this one right here is the black and white collection. So let's pop this bad boy open. And then you have your spatulas again on this one. And this one gives you an extra bottle. So here's white. Here's black. And there's another black because black is going to be your most popular color. It's one of those things, 90% um, of the headstocks that guitar players are using that need repair work has black on it. Um, sides of a lot of fingerboards and like um, ebony, uh, ebony woods are all dark black. And let's say you do a refret and you got a lot of chips because something happened when you took out the frets and didn't warm them up or somebody glued them in with epoxy. You mix this with the fill and finish, probably the thin on here. And you can touch up all those little cracks and all those little chips on that um, ebony board, sand them right out and they'll be invisible. So there's two blacks included with this one. Actually, there's three blacks, surprise. Now that's good. I, I wasn't aware of that. I didn't open it at the bottom one. So three blacks are included. So that means pretty much you're never gonna run out of the black tint. So this is probably, you know, if you're gonna start off, th this would be a really great kit to have right here because it's going to be most of your repair work. So three blacks, one white. Pop this over here and let's get to what we call the vintage color collection. Now this is going to be, uh, this could be your first one that you really, really have to have. For me, this is the one I call the game changer because this is the one that allows me to do so much um, because I, I'm focused mostly on restorations. So most of my stuff is wood tones, earth tones. You know, most of the guitars, acoustic guitars, I work on 90% of those all the time. And I got to have colors that can match as darn close as possible. So you do get the spatulas here. And here we go. We have a brown. This is a really great earth tone brown. And I want to open this up and show this to you. And you can see that hopefully there. And that, when you mix it with your fill and finish, thin or regular, is going to look phenomenal. Most of your mahogany sides and some rosewoods, you're going to find the color is going to match perfectly right out of the bottle. And then here we have transparent yellow. Now the transparent yellow is really nice because um, let me show you what's on here. This will allow you to mix this tint with, let's say, a little bit of the brown. And this will kind of fix up a little bit of those Brazilian rosewoods that you get in, which you can't buy the wood anymore, but the guitars are still floating around and you need to fix something on them. That'll allow you to do that. And then this is transparent amber. 
this is a godsend right here. If you're familiar with different ambers, it's basically like a butterscotch color. So you can use the brown and the yellow to change the tone of this amber. So if you need a little more yellow on it because of the guitar, you can open this up, add a little spoonful of that with, that's why there's three of these, so you don't have to contaminate each one. This is the best products I've ever used. Um, I'm absolutely fantastically impressed with them. This Glue Boost Accelerator is, this was, I think, the first product that I tried, and it doesn't compare to any other product that are out there. I've tried them all. I've been doing this for 36 years. I've been using CA glues, and every time I sprayed an accelerator, or I put some on something, I sit and watch the glue just bubble up, turn white, foam, and basically ruin the repair, and I have to start over. This will not foam. So this is great, and it smells good. So here's our different colors. So these will cover all your wood tones, your earth tones, all your uh, um, sides of your guitars, back of your guitars, uh, necks of the guitars. You got a big ding in the back of your neck of your guitar. You could probably use just the straight brown. If you have some tinted, um, binding and you just replace the whole side of the binding and it's bright white and it's driving you crazy you can use the amber and if it needs to be a little more yellow mix up a little more yellow it needs to be a little more aged a little uh, a little more dirty looking you can add up a little more brown to it so these are a little bit of my favorite right here that i've been waiting for forever i love it so those are what we have we have the master tint black and white collection three blacks one white and then we have the modern color collection which is your primary colors yellow red blue and you can mix those up all kinds of ways and then the vintage color collection which i just showed you so these three will cover just about everything you need color wise and if you buy all three of them you can mix and match between them so you can add white to red and adding white to red will give you a color like this pink telly right here. You're not going to get a lot of pink tellies, but when you do get a pink telly, you are able to fix it now. So once again, this is Tracy Longo at Guitar Tech Corner here in Ventura, California. Thank you.